football. We are live in New York City. Let's bring in Will Silva, who's out in the NFL newsroom in L.A. Did you catch our T GMFB on TNF debut last night, Will? All yeah, you know what, though? I was starting... It was, well, listen, I was missing you guys, and, and at first I saw you, I'm like, wait a second, I, I thought you were going to say, time to go to Will Sell. I'm like, I'm not ready, I got to go on set, I got to get makeup, I got to get my, my mug, and then I see you guys there, and it just warms my heart. You guys did an awesome job. I can only imagine the energy that was around you guys with all the fans over there. Will was in his footy pajamas, but thank you, Will. We missed you. But you were still favoriting <laughs> tweets like a boss. Always. Always. Yes, like a boss. Like a boss. Trying to build that base, everybody. <laughs> all right, let's get to another a major news story. You guys had touched upon Deshaun Watson, but Andrew Luck's season is now officially over. The Colts placing Luck on injured reserve. The move felt inevitable given the lack of progress in the recovery from surgery on his throwing shoulder back in January. Luck saying he'll be better from this. He went on to say he'll be a better quarterback, teammate, person, and player from this and is excited for the future. Luck's immediate past included missing offseason workouts, training camp, and priestly. In this old school photo with Hall of Famer Joe Namath, he posted with the caption TBT to three good looking guys at the Joe Namath football camp. Joe is the one without the shirt. John Dockery, the other sports caster, former DB of the Jets and the Steelers. But Uncle Charlie was a baller then. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, baller now. <laughs> Mind blown, right? That, Mind blown. I mean, I'm dressing. Like that for Halloween next year. Yeah, that's that's an it. Unbelievable yeah. photo. That made my day. We need a deep dive or Hot something. Charlie. Hot yes, Hot we do. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That needs a football hey, no, life. Wow. <laughs> Charlie Kassler Bay? Oh. Oh. Tap that Kassler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was an amazing photo. Juju That's on that casserole. Juju yeah. on that casserole. What? Will, wow. we love you. I haven't you. Juju on the We wow. missed you last night. It just didn't feel the same, and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, I appreciate that. I missed you guys, too. Oh, All right, God. back here in studio. Week 9 kicked off last night. Jets, Bills, we were there in the Meadowlands. But there's a pretty exciting Week 9 schedule. Just a couple of days away. It's the second half of the season, so let's kick it off with some mad minutes. 60 seconds on the clock. First up, I, this game is going to about be it. unbelievable. Alex Smith taking the Chiefs down to Dallas for the first time since 2005. The Chiefs visiting the Cowboys. What do you got? Um, Zeke Elliott? Ooh. Yeah, so the, the leagues is not playing. Jane Slater tweeted he's not playing. But there's always a chance well, for like a... Well, she tweeted that Alpha what he said? would start. Alpha would start. So is there going to be like a 13th Circuit collateral vertical injunction? I'm so lost in the minutia of it. You know what I'm here for instead, Kay? Marcus Peters versus <laughs> what, Des Bryant. What are you here for? That's what I'm here for. By the way, we need a new segment. <laughs> KB's here for, and I'm here oh, for Marcus boy. Peters versus Des Bryant. Peters, huge game last week. Des needs a big one. I want to watch that. It is so up. like you that here for is almost over. Yeah, and I, I know. Oh, there's a month ago. That's, I'm looking at the quarterback competition. <laughs> I'm looking at Alex and Dak and Kelsey and Witten. I mean, those are legendary guys right there in their own right. But, uh, you know, paying attention to that Chiefs offense, I still think they're one of the most explosive and also intricate offenses with pre-snap and post-snap misdirection. I'm looking forward to see what they bring to the table up against the Cowboys. Great to talk football, talk broadcasting. Tony Romo goes Ooh. back to Dallas for the first time since retiring. I'm curious to see how that goes. He'll be in a production meeting today, and then we'll see how it goes on the call. But very intrigued to hear his thoughts on the Cowboys. Two of the best quarterbacks in the league this year. It's yeah, Jack easily. V. Alex Smith. All right, yeah. guys, next one. Both coming off a of bye week, well-rested. The Rams are hitting the Meadowlands, hungry for a second consecutive shutout, while the Giants look for their second win of the season. This would have been a Janoris Jenkins revenge game. Yeah. Not so much he will miss this game as he is suspended. I'm glad that you said bye week because I'm looking at those Rams and they're hot right now and they set back and the coach would always say, if you're running hot and you got to buy, Focus. Don't get too distracted. Don't start feeling yourself too much. Always keep your mind semi-close to the game. How do these guys respond? Fairly young team. We know the coach, the players. Now they're bouncing back from a bye week, knowing that everybody's talking about them. How are you going to play up against a team that you should beat? A team that's in shambles, yeah. really. The Giants. Janoris Jenkins being suspended because he didn't come back from the bye week on time when it could have <laughs> been a revenge game for him against his old team that didn't want to pay him. All this stuff. So... As a Giants, you know, observer for many years, this is the game the Giants win. Like, this is what the Giants uh, do. They're, everything's huh. going wrong and they find a way to win. 
but I don't know if this team has it in them. It really seems like it's 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 bare bottom here. For the okay. Giants. No Janoris. This is the Cooper Cup game. Peter said he have 100 catches. I did the math, guys. He has 23 catches. He could have a good game. He could. Nine to play, so he needs 8.5 per game. However, <laughs> if he has 26 catches we're this back, weekend, back it goes down to six a game. This is the night. 26. Just look at that record. You'd think it would be flipped. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Like, yeah, you're in right. preseason, that's what I would have called. Pretty, if you did a blind resume. You're right. Those two. Go Rams. Right. Coming up. Uh, off a shutout of the Colts, followed by their bye week. The Saxonville Jags mm. are gearing up to host Andy Dalton and the Bengals. 60 seconds on the clock. Ooh. Mm. I'll go with this one. Uh, we talked earlier in the week. Do you buy the Jaguars? I said, I don't buy you until you win two in a row. I mean, they're a 500 team. They have one loss, one loss. This is the one they have to win to make it two in a row. And the fact is, guys, with Deshaun Watson going down, the division now should be the Jaguars yeah. or the Titans. Somebody take this thing mm. over. Win Good two point. in a row. Come on. Good point. Um, you know, the, the defense is something that we've been talking about all year. And now with Marcel Darius, how are you going to come in and already help a defense that's, that's not strong? So They're aggressive. We looked at the Bills and we were talking about them and everything they can do defensively. They weren't that team last night. Jags, they're a defensive juggernaut. They got to be that team every single week. If you could be that team, not only will you make the postseason, you actually have a chance to make it to the Super Bowl. Bengals defense just destroyed Jacoby Brissett last week, and they're like the sleeping giant. They're in a market that we don't always talk about, Cincinnati, but they're three and four. They get this win, they're four and four. Suddenly, you have something going after that awful You're start. Cincinnati in Cincinnati's this one? defense okay. is so good that I could see them taking care of business down there in Jackson. Hey guys, and everyone being yeah. like, what about the Bengals? Yeah. And the GM HOF uh -huh. guy is back, Fournette, right? Yeah. We haven't even mentioned right. Fournette, our favorite player in the world. Watch, you know I just love that I teed you up as, oh, and you just took it. Yeah, I knew it. And you, you knew it was you. Of course. That's fine. All right, Hello. the same look shows, to secure. <laughs> I know you. I, I know unlike, you unlike Nate, I know you. The same <laughs> look to secure their sixth straight win on Sunday facing a Bucks team, right? a four-game losing streak. They are holding that L. 60 seconds on the clock. Peter Shrigo. I'm going to take this one because I'm looking at the Buccaneers and Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys <laughs> sent us a video saying, hey, what's going on? We're the Suckaneers. This is it. This is the season. You lose this one and suddenly there's no more reason to even think about playoffs. I think the Buccaneers need to go into New Orleans, a place that haunted them last year where they could have gone to the playoffs with a win there and get the win. I don't know if they have it in them, though. I really am challenging the Buccaneers right here. Did what you do you hear got? back from Nick Carter? Oh, he didn't write back? What? Oh, not me either. No, no, neck, I, but Howie and AJ were tweeting me all Oh, day. yeah. I'm you a know, heaven guy. <laughs> this offense for the Bucks is something that's strange because one game they're hot, one game they're not. How are they going to get involved? Mike Evans, Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson, they haven't really caught that rhythm yet with Jameis. But on the flip side, you look at the Saints, only allowing three passing touchdowns the last five games. So something has to give. Either the offense for the Bucks are going to get going or that Saints are going to continue to what they're doing to shut down that offense. Saints have been everyone pass defense since week three. Good luck, Jameis. Upset alert. This is my oh, upset alert. Okay. I cannot see Tampa Bay going to two and six. They have too many good players. Mike Evans has not had the Mike Evans game yet. Has not in 100 yards. This might be the week they target him 20 times and he goes off. Upset that alert. That would be an upset. They're the only team in ah. the NFC South with a losing record. Last matchup for this round, guys. How about Matt Ryan and the Falcons visiting the division rival Panthers where Cam Newton is uh, beginning life without... His friend, Kelvin Benjamin, who was mm. traded up to Buffalo to Western New York this week. 60 seconds on the clock. Nate Burleson. Go. Yeah, I'll talk a little bit later in the show about Cam Newton and what I'm looking forward to this weekend. But I'm paying attention to Devin Funches. It's a very unique opportunity. Your number Let's one go. wide receiver gets shipped off and now being a number two. I've been in that situation you know about that. where the offseason comes around. The coach is looking at you like, Nate, you're the man. Let's see what you got. Let's see if he can stay healthy, go out there and make a name for himself. This is Devin's time. It's time to really have some fun. Functions. Are you here for it? I'm here for it. How about those knee socks on Casserly? Incredible. Yeah. I mean, I can't get over that picture. Ladies, start your engines. Um, <laughs> Devontae Freeman paid a ton of money in the offseason. No touchdowns since week four. Freeman v. Keekly K. I'm... Here for it. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey. You, you has, hashtagged here for it. Okay. Lot of it. Christian McCaffrey has 66 targets. Devin Funches, the aforementioned, has 58. You know who has less than both those guys? Uh -huh. Julio Jones. Hey, Julio. Yeah. Get him the ball. Or Julio, demand the ball. Okay. I, the Falcons here, they're in the same place they nice? were a year ago. They're four and three. Same spot they were a year ago. Get it going. Okay. Here we go. I'm with you. And I asked you this earlier, I think last week. Julio, I want Julio to be squeaky yeah. wheel that gets the grease. Yeah. Why won't he be? It's just not his personality? Yes, not. Personality. At some point, you got to say something, though. Close mouth, don't get fed. Mm. Mm. All right, there's our Mad Minute. Great stuff, guys. Coming up, he's been playing through.